what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixelmarters here, and welcome back to Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. When we left off, the gang's all back together yes, again. Yes, they were reunited. Everyone's all together. We're all solving puzzles together. It's just a grand old time. But we're apparently going to some pretty dangerous place. Yeah. And I think it starts with me touching this river. So, yep, I had a feeling. Yep. So we're gonna go uh, try and the break the first was seal terrifying. of the Leviathan. Hey, there is something under the water. Looks like a stone path. You're right, Baya. But doesn't it look safe to cross with that current? You don't think we could somehow raise those platforms up and use them to get across, do you? Hmm. Well done, my boy. It seems we have discovered another puzzle. I believe these seals mentioned in the text are actually puzzles. Um, Professor, would it be alright if I gave this puzzle a try? No need to worry, Isabella. The Professor will get us across in no time. But, but, I want to do my part and help out too. Let her do it. Please let me help out. I must repay your kindness! <laughs> Jesus. Isabella. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shout just now. No need to apologize. You've made your feelings quite clear, Isabella. And for that, you have my thanks. Now then, we shall leave this puzzle to you. I know you'll be successful. Uh, okay, thank you so much. I won't let you down, Professor. You better not. <laughs> what? Otherwise, I will see why I do all the puzzles next time. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. Seal of Leviathan. 30, okay, not bad. There are three large platforms leading across the river. Each platform is being weighed down by, a lar by large pieces of stone. Moving a stone block onto a platform will be will add additional weight and cause it to lower. Likewise, removing a stone block will cause the platform to rise. Use all the stone blocks to lower to lower or raise the platform so that they are an even height. So it's one of these things. Okay, I assume I I'm I'm just gonna start by taking everything off so we have a baseline of what we're looking at. Yeah. So all right. It's going to be pretty hard to judge some of these. Oh. Hmm. Give me a second here. I can't wait to be fucking right, right off the bat. That's oh. not quite it. Damn it. It's okay. close. Hmm. Leave me alone. Stop teasing. What? The game. It's telling oh. to leave me alone. Damn it. Damn it all. Wait, 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 wait. We can put a little, two little ones on that other one. No, leave it. Put that on the one that has a tiny one. That's already oh, that just lower. Yeah, it's yeah. already low. <sighs> it's so but close. Maybe. No, because now the, 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 yeah. that one's not tall enough. Okay. Huh. Uh, no, because I have to pull everything off anyways. Just yeah. Take it all down. Nope. So the Stop thing is that. you have to have all the boxes Stop there that. and they all have to be even. Is that the criteria? Yeah, the entire thing has to be even with all of the boxes being used. Okay. Hmm. All right. This definitely won't go on the end, but I'll try it here in the middle and yeah. see if that might do anything um, but it's off by just a little bit yeah and it's the little bit that's gonna throw me off oh but hold on i don't think these little ones are gonna weigh enough nope no damn they're okay. all mossy stairs <laughs> No. Well, that's how that's a way to stock those sack those <laughs> boxes very dangerously. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Take those all off. Hmm. Okay. So it doesn't seem likely that the big block is gonna go in the middle. Which means it would need to go On the end? Well there. right over here as we were had it originally. It's the fact that these red boxes create a weird increment. But maybe Yee. that's what the problem it I <laughs> Oh it's these tiny fractions of hell <laughs> These tiny fractions of hell 
They are kind of ruining everything. <sighs> hmm. Alright, this is gonna be useless hint number one. I can't wait for useless hint number one. Begin by trying out all the blocks and gauging their weight. Every platform must have at least one block. No shit. Now, <laughs> these boxes don't weigh different, do they? No, it comes out the same. So they all weigh the same for size. Yeah. It's just being done. All right. Give me platform the in the platform middle. The middle can, should contain the most blocks. Three, to be exact. Okay. That's something to work with. So the middle one would contain the most. Which the middle one... <laughs> The middle one. Stop! <laughs> the middle one has to have three boxes on it. Yes. And the others do not. So what three do we put up here? If it's three, it's definitely not going to be the big boy. It wouldn't be this because those aren't even. No. Maybe it's all three little ones. I don't think that'd be the case because this is going to be way too low. Yeah, that's way too low. Maybe yeah, it wouldn't be like that. It's a big one and two little ones. And then that one. No, because this is going to go mm. up higher. Unless. Well, no, because these aren't even. Oh! There we go! Okay, it just oh, looked like it wasn't going to be even, but. Alright! We did it! She did it! Solving is a lot of fun, isn't it? Absolutely. He's like a PBS special. <laughs> Success! That's one seal cleared. Now the real challenge begins. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Amazing, Isabella! You raised the platforms! I really did it, didn't I? That was quite remarkable, Isabella. Extremely well done. I knew you could do it, Isabella. I just like to imagine that with this puzzle. Like, they're all just watching on as she's carrying all these boxes one by one <laughs> yeah. onto the thing. Like, I can I can look right. No, that's not it. Just watching on for an hour <laughs> as she moves all these boxes on her own. And the, the, the hints were from Luke. Exactly. Just Or Leighton just like, nope, three go on there. Trust me, I've already solved in my head, but you want to do it. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead, be my guest. <laughs> the civilization that once existed here must have been quite advanced considering the mechanisms used on these platforms. I can't help but wonder what became of them. I bet there will be a clue to that somewhere up ahead, Professor. Could they all have been killed by a great fire? Oh, God. Whoa. So this must be a seal <laughs> of despair. Oh, boy. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> then that means there's hope. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's probably best we don't lurk down that bottomless pit. Not unless you want a one-way trip into darkness. As I thought, this too is a puzzle. Leave it to me, Professor! Uh-uh, this bad boy is all mine! But now it seems you've both gained some of the smell of spirit. In that case, how about you both tackle this puzzle together? I'm sure you'd be able to solve it marvelously. All right. Just leave it to us! All right. What's the puzzle of despair? It's a maze. I'm feeling the despair already. <laughs> 30. All right. There's a bridge to cross the crevice. Unfortunately, the pathway is cut off halfway through. Looks like pulling a set of levers can rotate the segments of, of the bridge. Rotate the segments to align the pathway and find a way across. Touch and slide the switches on the touch screen below to rotate the various pieces of the bridge. Rotate the pieces and create a path across. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like it would move like certain ones and. Oh, it has a that weird way. scratchy noise. Yeah. It's, um, it's the same. I'm getting flashbacks. It's the same noise where we had to reorganize everyone to fit in the wagon. Remember? Yeah, I remember that. How could I ever it's forget? It's the same noise. All right. Let's oh wait, see. go back. Well, no, none of these line up at all. Those all hit the bottom, and the tops where the opening right. is. Are you sh. I yes. thought I saw one connect here. Nope. You might have seen it when I was in between pieces. Oh. There's that. And there's that. Mm -hmm. And there's that. Which means this piece is definitely not it. Mm 
Let's see what we got here. Okay, so there's nothing that would be able to solve it from the middle. So I'm going to go with there's that. this for right now. That's not going to be it. Hmm. So actually, what? this is probably going to be the piece that we solve with. So this is also going to be incorrect. So let me try Okay. This. We got that. Oh. Is there a final piece that can fit that puzzle? There <gasps> is. Yay! Where is this? Okay, there we go. Way to go, Maya. <laughs> Even though you didn't do anything, Luke did all the work. You just got to stand around and celebrate. They're so cute. Just Absolutely. What from the professor's apprentice. Hell yeah, dude. You did it! Let us press on. Everyone can cross now. We did it! We fixed the bridge! Now we can go on to the last seal. Okay, time to focus. Just keep staring straight ahead. Whatever you do, don't look down. J just make sure you don't go jumping around on that thing. I don't think my heart could take so it. jump on it a bunch. Got it. But Mr. Roy, it's really nice and sturdy. Look. <laughs> no. C -c Cut that out, Luke. Seriously, you're going to give me a heart attack. Look at him doing a little dance. <laughs> They're so full of energy, aren't they, Professor? That they are, Spella. Keeping our spirits up will bode well for our investigation. Well, come. The last seal is just up ahead. Oh boy. This is the final one, right? Indeed. Gates of destruction will open once the seal of sages is broken. Seems our turn has come, Mr. Wright. Oh, oh, yeah. I've been really looking forward to this, Professor. That's what I'm supposed to say, right? <laughs> that, huh? Didn't exactly scream, I can't wait to do this puzzle, Nick. Would you hush up? <laughs> hey, take a look at those two square recesses in that pedestal. Looks like they're there for some purpose on one. I want, whoa, I'm getting ahead of myself. I wonder what it would, it could be. My God, I can't speak. This is a puzzle that could not be solved by one person alone. We must combine our strength if we are to have any hope of opening that door. If any of the final seals should present it with such a formidable challenge. Mr. Wright, I have no doubt that together we can solve this puzzle. Shall we begin? I'm ready when you are, Professor. Professor is a puzzle solving expert. I just hope I don't slip up too much. Oh boy. Alright. What do we got here? Look at them. 60 to 60? Baby mode. Dang. Easy. 60? Easy. That is not easy. You struggled I'll with the 51. I'll solve it easy peasy lemon squeezy. All you right. just watch. There are four stone slabs and a pedestal with two recesses. Each stone slab has a different symbol. Place a slab in each, re in each recess and touch check. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, what? Because I saw the capital and I'm like, did they forget a period? And touch check to make the seal on the door light up. Okay. Each slab will reflect a different symbol on the wall. Onto the wall. Uh, find the combination of slabs that will correctly light up the seal. Match the snake images to those on the wall. Touch the stone plates on the touch screen below and slide the stylus you don't have to move them. Lift the stylus you don't have to place them into one of the two holes in the pedestal. Touch one of the edges of the plates. I almost said Pilates. <laughs> and slide the stylus. You don't have to rotate them. When you have placed two plates into the holes, touch check to see if your answer is correct. Okay. I am not sure what to do. Uh, I was trying to make sure. I wanted to see it clearly on here. Uh, we're trying to match up the reflection uh... that is on the thing here. Oh and, god, that looks complicated. Uh, it may look complicated, but I don't think it's that bad. I'm gonna put that one right there because I'm following the tail where it has like the two little cuts inside it, which is what that snake has right there. Mm -hmm. And you know, he's rah! And then on the bottom right, he has one little cut, which is exactly what that yeah. one has. So now I gotta get the one that's on the side here. Uh, let's see. And I need to... Ro can I rotate them all? They're here? I yeah. can. So I'm going to rotate them all at least this way. Um... 
The only one that it could be... Actually, I think it's this guy right here. Is oh, it? Oh, nope. Don't do that. He's got the single little cut right there. And it's got the double cut right there. I think this is it. Did I do it? I... I'm not gonna die, right? I did it. What? I'm a genius. You can't <laughs> beat me. It's Let's impossible. About it together. Way to go, guys. Every puzzle has an answer. That threw me off. All right. <laughs> Same. Wonderful. You can finally continue on to the deepest depths of the ruins. I am a genius, an unstoppable force of nature. All right. Don't let it get to your head. <laughs> Did you hear that just now? The door's opening. Whoa, way to go. I knew you guys could do it. Oh, but we got past that one. No, it's on the other side of this door. Indeed, it certainly is intriguing, Mr. Wright. I do not know what might await us on the other side of that door. It's all right. I'm not scared. You've come so far, we must continue. We must find out what's behind all of this. Let's do it. Let's move forward. Okay. Right. Whoa! Well, this is fancy. So pretty! This room. It looks like a shrine of some sort. My favorite color is literally everywhere. <laughs> Cyan, as far as the eye can see. It certainly is very beautiful. That light is almost unearthly. It seems quite unfitting that this place should be associated with destruction, doesn't it? It's not like the rest of the ruins at all. It's actually really well preserved. Hmm. I wonder if someone else came here before us. Come on, guys. I think we can relax a bit, especially after that puzzle that almost made Nick pass out. You know, I honestly thought Pazella would come charging at us the second we opened the door and turn us all into frogs. Maya, you're starting to give me the creeps. <laughs> <laughs> so it, uh, looks Bazilla's a no-show, huh? I suggest we scout the room for any potential clues. Okay. I'm gonna want to get rid of the flower petals in the water. That's not important, this room apparently. Is so All pretty. right. I can take some money from these ancient runes. Hopefully, I can use it somewhere. Oh my god. I can apparently trade it to Leighton and it'll give me hints. <laughs> hey, look. Which makes sense. More money. Because he's an archaeologist. Exactly. Uh, he's like, I can study this. Thank you. Oh, I can look at that. It seems the ceiling and pillars in this room are crumbling into the water. Let us hurry. Oh. There are flower petals floating on the water. They look like the flowers growing near the mansion outside. Interesting. I think about it. This water's probably flowing in from the lake up on the surface. The water's glowing so brightly. There's no need for torches here. Okay. Uh. What about that? No, what about this pillar? Can nope. you imagine seeing something like this in oh, real life? That'd be fantastic. Right? Would love to see it. Uh, okay, I'll touch the, uh, okay, yeah, I'll look at the top part here. Are those things serpents? Maybe dragons? Oh, I know! They must be dragon serpents! Maya. <laughs> those vines have become quite overgrown. They're covering this altar from top to bottom. Hmm, well, traces of an object having been placed here. What could it have been? Those two creatures on the wall are probably there to watch over whatever was on the altar. All right, one last place to check. This is, um, nope, this is the way back. Wait. Oh, I can look at the stairs. <laughs> These stairs just suddenly end. I've got it. They must be stairs to nowhere. Well. Uh, I don't think that's it, Maya. It must have led to something, but what? It must have been something pretty important for them to build a room around it. Quite true, Mr. Wright. There's little doubt that whatever once stood here was, the utmost, was of the utmost importance. Let's take a look. What's up with this pedestal? It looks a bit strange. It looks like something is missing. It would be a something quite large once stood here. Perhaps an object of worship. Something large? Ah, look up there! Above the shrine! What's that? It looks like there are marks all over the wall. That was on this pedestal must have been even larger than I originally thought. It seems whatever it was has been taken away for some reason. I wonder why. 
The inscription on the stone plaque could perhaps offer us a clue. Although, I'm afraid the words in this inscription are somewhat ancient. So, you can't read what it says? It would be quite a different story if I were able to take a relic back to London for analysis. This it stands now, however, and we'll only be able to decipher a portion of it. Really, Professor? What does it say? Um... Some of the previous inhabitants of these rooms were responsible for this inscription. While well, the inscription itself will appear to provide yet another mystery to be solved. Let me read it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> the former inhabitants of these rooms called a created bell, created a bell out of pure silver as a tribute to the gods they worshipped here. Huh. So they made a giant silver bell. It's actually pretty impressive. However, when the bell was rung, it did not summon a god, but instead, an evil demon. Oh! This evil demon brought upon this world a great catas catastrophe, causing considerable damage to the land. Did you say a great catastrophe? What could have happened? Like a great fire? <laughs> yeah. Those that survived the incident dubbed it the Bell of Rune and sealed it within this very room. They then fled in fear of the curse placed upon this land by the demon. The inscription contains one final warning. To those who have gained entry into this sanctum, heed our words. You must not ring the bell of Rune. That is as much as I can gather. I believe the, the object that was removed from the shrine is the very bell of Rune mentioned in the inscription. Professor, could this have anything to do with Bazella? I cannot say for sure, Luke. After all, demons and witches are two very different concepts. However, perhaps there's a chance that the two are connected in origin through this legend. You've learned about the Bell of Ruin. Okay. Origin, Professor? Think back to what was written, what followed the Great Catastrophe. You must mean... The curse placed upon this land part, right? Yes. I imagine that when the bell was rung, it must have summoned something. What sort of curse could that have been? And what was this great catastrophe brought upon by the demon? Wait, could it be... The fire that destroyed the entire town? Whoa. Remember. Huh? Uh-oh. Spella, what's wrong? The eyes have gone blue. Oh, well, oh, oh, we're back. Uh, uh, no, 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 nothing's wrong. Are you sure? You don't have to put on a brave face for us. Tell if you're not feeling good, okay? I yes, of course. This still has me wondering. What exactly was the catastrophe that happened a long time ago? I can only think of one thing in Labyrinthia that could be called a catastrophe. Legendary fire. Of course. Both the Bell of Ruin and the Legend of Bazella must be. Espella, are you absolutely sure you're feeling okay? Your face has gone really pale. The legendary fire. Do you remember now, Espella? Oh boy. Who, who are you? Allow me to remind you of who and what you truly are. Huh? And what you did so many years ago. Is Espella a demon? What I did. Uh oh. I, I killed thousands. <laughs> oh boy. She's had those flashbacks before. She is the dragon. Nope, that's her cute little child. Oh boy.
Pasella. The great witch Pasella. Uh oh. Um. Uh, Isabella. <sighs> well, that's not good. Nope. Hey, buddy. <laughs> and so it has begun. Did you do this, huh? You writing all of this shit? Of course shit? he did. He's the DM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, there's a couple... Okay, everything's getting filled out at this point. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, the underground mural. Okay. The mural hidden under the Great Archive and the remains lying below the forest are from the same period. They both bequeath a record of a great calamity. There's someone, someone's, I feel someone's will leading us inexorably towards the records under the forest and beneath the library. And then we have Belter and Akimus seeing the appearance of the bell tower as some kind of sign Belduke sent out to reveal his town's mysteries along with the truth behind the witches. Surely clues of the mysteries lie here. Which I appeared in the fire blaze, but no one has ever heard its bell. I was thinking the same thing. I couldn't remember if it was a bell tower or a clock tower. Because if it was a bell tower, I was thinking it's a bell tower, that it yeah. was... I was wondering if that, like, that was the bell. Oh. Like, it popped up and he goes, oh, shit. Oh, like, no wonder he'd be so scared because yeah. it's the bell that fucking brings the end of the, the world. The bell of ruin. <laughs> yeah. And that's why no one's heard it ring. <laughs> then the ruins in the forest. But appear the previous inhabitants of the region built these underground chambers to seal the bell of ruin. They also left an inscription to warn others before leaving the area. The Bell of Rune, which should have been sealed within the runes, was missing. That bothers me so much. Who could have taken it? And where? I know that's just how you talk, but it like... It was like Isabella wasn't herself anymore. Apparently not. Almost as if she was possessed. Yeah, her eyes went by red. By the Great Favitch. <laughs> she kept murmuring, I'm the Great Witch Bazella, over and over and over again. She took off running when we tried to calm her down. We tried going after her, but she lost us. We searched everywhere for her, the ruins, the forest, but there was no sign of her, no matter where we looked. We thought she might have returned to town, and if she did, the knights would be sure to catch her and drag her back to that terrifying courtroom. Needless to say, we went back to town straight away to search for her, and then, without warning, Labyrinthia was hit by a heavy rainstorm. There was an ominous silence over the entire town square. The only thing I could hear was the rain. We didn't know it at the time, but that rain, it was a sign of the terrible things that were to come. Ooh. First had the legendary fire, and now you have the legendary flood. We got, we got Luke doing some narration. Yeah. They couldn't afford to animate any more of this, so they had to just do a little little lore drop with some narration. A lore drop. <laughs> oh. Okay, right, a couple missed puzzles. But that is the end of that chapter. Ooh. So we're going to move on in to the next chapter next, next time. time. Yep, there it is. <laughs> what, what do you expect from me? What else am I going to Am I going to mix it up? If I mix it up, the audience would be like, wait, what's happening? This isn't right, well, right? No. I'm just saying it's 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 funny when I, I know and I'm predict. just having my fun. Okay. It's a fun little banter, okay? Banter? It's a fun little banter. Uh, all right. <laughs> Gumshoe? God, I wish, pal. <laughs> <laughs>